Okay, we're going to go through the process of reeving a tackle block correctly uh, for use in mechanical advantage. We have two tackle blocks here. One has a, a rated becket. Uh, we also have two triple sheep pulleys. You're going to make sure that the rope that you're reeving through your, your pulleys is the correct diameter. Right now we're using a three strand polypropylene rope. You're also going to make sure that you put your tackle blocks, um, one on its side, one on its back. You're going to start on the becket side pulley. You're going to go through the center. Make sure you give yourself sufficient rope and make sure that the pulleys are spread apart just a little bit. You're going to then move over to the outside sheave. Work along the top. As you're going through this, you might have to give yourself a little bit more slack. And it's a lot easier to do it once you haven't threaded them all through. So do that now. Okay. So you've gone through the central one, down to the bottom, up to the top. down through the furthest one if you're coming out along the bottom you're going in along the bottom if you're coming out along the top you're going down along the top once you come through the bottom you're going to go through your last sheave which is your central sheave Okay. now you're going to need to give yourself a little bit more here also, make sure you give yourself a little bit of room. That way, when you go to tie your becket, you'll have enough space to do it. So give yourself a little bit more room here. Now, you're going to go through your thimble, and you're going to tie your becket bend. So, over the top, around the back, and through. This is a cinching knot. Make sure it's tied, dressed, and set properly before you load it. So there you go, you've reeved your tackle block set. Once you're done, in order to store this, you're going to pull your block set tight. Once you've got them tight enough, you're going to make a half hitch, put it over the block, and tighten it up. From there, you're going to get the rest of your rope, make your coils as you normally would. Once you are close enough, make a bite in the rope, pass it through, take that, put it over the top, and everything stays nice and locked together.